Forget everything you know about video creation. What you're seeing right now was generated by Minimax in just minutes. This technology is completely changing the game, and today I'll show you exactly how to master it. Look at these videos, a cinematic cityscape at golden hour and an epic fantasy battle scene, both created with simple prompts that anyone can write. Even if you've never touched AI before, you'll be creating mind-blowing videos by the end of this tutorial. Let's dive in. First things first, head over to the website. I will leave a link down below. Then sign in with your Google account. If you do this, you get 1000 credits for your first three days. After that, you'll still get 100 free credits every day to keep creating amazing content. The prompt box is located in the center. Prompting is the most important part of getting the best videos. Let's break down how to structure a prompt that leads to amazing results. First of all, let me start by saying that even if your prompt is very simple, it's still gonna work. You're just leaving a lot of room for the AI to make up all the details itself. I'm gonna try a very vague prompt, city at night. And as expected, it generated something really boring. Let's try to make it better using a very simple format. When you're making a scene, the first thing to think about is how you want to show it. Instead of just saying a city at night, try to picture how the camera would see it. Like saying a low angle shot of a city at night already makes it sound more dramatic. It's like you're standing on the street looking up and it instantly feels more exciting. Next, let's make the city feel alive. Try saying something like a low angle shot of a city at night with streets filled with action, or even more details like neon lights reflect on wet pavement as cars zoom by and people walk under glowing storefronts. Now it feels real, like you're in the middle of it all watching everything happen. Lighting is super important too. Think about how the lights look and feel. Like in this city, the neon lights make it feel futuristic while the reflections on the wet ground make it feel deep and dramatic. It's also important to match how things look to what's going on. If you want to focus on something small, like rain, maybe use a close-up shot of a raindrop on a window reflecting the city lights. But if you want to show the whole city, go big with a wide angle shot. This way, you can capture everything, cars, people, lights, all at once. And don't forget to give the camera some cool directions. Instead of just saying what's in the scene, describe how the camera moves. Maybe it follows people walking on the sidewalk or zooms out to show the whole city street. Finally, don't worry if it's not perfect the first time. You might need to test it out a few times before it's just right. Try different angles, movements, or lighting until it looks exactly how you want. Even small changes can totally change the vibe. But don't stress if you're not sure what kind of camera shot or movement you prefer, or which style or what kind of lighting. Concentrate on describing the subject's action and the overall emotional context of your scene. From there, AI can typically infer the rest. You can make use of the prompt enhance feature offered on the platform when your prompt is quite basic. Also, the prompt elements can appear anywhere in the prompt. They can also reappear as needed. For example, you start with a wide shot and in the middle of the prompt, you direct the camera to close up on the subject's face and you also change the lighting to emphasize the facial expression. It's all really flexible. So our prompt is now low angle shot of a city at night with streets filled, neon lights reflect on wet pavement as cars streak by and pedestrians cross under glowing storefronts. Here is the result. This is definitely a lot better compared to our original boring prompt. If you're struggling to come up with the right words or ideas, you can always ask ChatGPT to help you brainstorm descriptive words, emotional tones, or even specific details to enrich your prompt. Now that we've talked about text prompts, let's use images to create videos. To do this, simply drag and drop an image from your device and type your prompt. When you use an image, the AI already knows the subject and scene, so you really wanna focus on the camera movement and effects. Let's say you have this picture of a forest here. A great prompt for this would be, the camera moves gently through the forest, sliding between the trees and following a branch. This prompt describes the movement of both the camera and the subjects perfectly. Let's see what we get from it. As you can see, it's incredible what it can do if you learn how to craft the best prompt. One problem that you might come across is the automatic censorship of content. Hilo has a built-in censorship system. Your prompt is still accepted, but after your video is done generating, it goes into moderation to ensure it is compliant with the policies. In my experience, anything involving beach or pools, it will trigger some sort of flags and go under the review for some time. 
If you want to see more videos about AI tools, then check out the video that's on the screen right now.